I think that people abandon themselves because the desire to feel their connection to the universal is so strong that they will give away anything. And look at the kids who join gangs. You know, they'll go in and get beat up and they'll go in and beat up and kill and do whatever horrible stuff they'll do because they have a connection. And when you have a strong family connection and you feel in that lineage your connection to the I don't know why I like the word divine, but to the totality, or give me a better word that works for you. Uh, I don't think you're inclined to be taken off that way. And you don't get as far off before you realize this is not right for me. This is not true. And so I was saying, you know, we come out of a movie and you're thinking, God, worst piece of crap I've ever seen. And the person you went with goes, God, that was a great movie. Now what do you do? So I'm saying, well, do you argue with them? You don't know anything about film, you know. It's like somebody's going, that, oh, I really like chocolate better than strawberry. You're going, you don't know anything about eating. <laughs> you know, it's insane. But, but we sort of do. Or, or we say, oh, yeah, no, I, I thought it was pretty good too, you know. And now we've disconnected from ourselves. Either way, I think we've lost the, the potential of what could happen here, of all of us creating a, a, a society, a civilization where it's like, Really, you liked the movie. What was it that really you thought was so good about it? You know, because I had the issues with this and this and this or whatever. And, and the next time you go see a movie, you might be looking at things that they've shown you to look for that they found that were really great that you weren't even looking for. It might enrich and enhance your experience of life. All right, so it's fundamental to me that you have the strength and the courage to be you and to not go along with the lynch mob. And, uh, you know, to not feel like you've got to hide or run away particularly. The time and a place for everything, okay? But, so, to me, as soon as I've given up myself to throw him, or to convince him, or to whatever, I think I've violated the harmony of the universe. As soon as I've tried to stay away from him so I can stay in touch with what I feel, well, who am I without the rest of the universe, really? There isn't even any oxygen to breathe without the rest of the universe, and you don't last long without that. But in the space where you're fully you, he loves the movie or whatever and you hate it, you can just have a conversation about it. You uh, don't agree with what's going on, you're able to deal with that in such a way.